Hi, I'm Mike Weaver. I'm a technologist that focuses on merger, acquisition, and divestitures with a lot of work in Office 365 tenant-to-tenant -tenant migrations. Let's talk about my top planning tips for tenant-to-tenant -tenant migrations. The first tip is very early on, you need to make a decision if you're going to do a cutover migration or a phase migration or batch migration. This is one of the key aspects of planning your project. I used to be a big fan of cutover migrations. However, as time has gone on and these tenants have gotten larger and more and more complex, many firms are unable to do a cutover migration. It's important to understand the impacts of doing a, uh, either decision that you make as uh, putting all the efforts into the cutover can sometimes allow you to uh, minimize disruption in cross-team collaboration. However, there's a lot of risks associated with that. On the other aspect, when you plan a batch migration, it cuts down your risk, but you have to be very careful about how you plan your batches. Again, this is going to be a decision that's going to be project by project. The second aspect is you're going to need some tooling, particularly some of the workloads that don't support uh, native options. When you look at, at tools, there are some free tools that are available but are in preview and a variety of paid tools that have different features. You're going to need to look at the total cost of ownership of these tools. This includes whether it's going to be a SaaS platform, if you're going to host it yourself, what it's going to take to operate these tools, if it is one tool that does multiple workloads versus a bunch of little tools uh, pushed together to make your solution work. All these are going to have different costs and payoff. Sometimes it's best to use one solution, uh, one third party solution that brings it all together. Um, other projects, that may not be the case. But many do find it very difficult uh, when doing the planning to understand the total cost of ownership in their tooling. The third tip is to understand your staffing needs for your project. When we think about a merger acquisition and divestiture and a tenant to tenant migration, there's so much more going on than just the Office 365 migration. When we look at all the other initiatives that are going on, it can be difficult to make staffing decisions on who's going to work on the, uh, the migration project versus the other projects that might be going on. You may need to bring in consultants to help augment your staff in different areas. So understanding what those needs are going to be, who's going to work on what, and what makes sense, uh, as well as goals for the organization and the people working, all has to come in play when you're doing your planning set reasonable expectations on uh, the time that it's going to take and what people can accomplish with the time that they have. If you're doing multiple projects, the fourth tip is having a program, not a project plan. If you're doing multiple projects or they're large or complex, there's a lot of people and processes and help that needs to come in to make this work. Especially with multiple projects going at once, you have to coordinate so many aspects of the organization, communications, the technology limitations, what people are using, reorganization in some cases, everything going at once. You don't want to pick a plan with just a technical project plan when you really need a full change management program. When you see this happening in your planning, you want to ensure that this is part of it. And finally, don't undervalue the importance of end user interviews. I like to sit on help desks a couple times a year, do end user interviews wherever I can. When I'm doing data analytics for a project, when I see something really interesting, I try to take a minute, meet up with that person, understand what they're doing, and ensure that it becomes part of the plan. And I encourage everyone as part of their tenant to tenant planning, when they see something interesting or just sitting down with a variety of people, to ensure that you've uh, handled uh, the most important aspects in your planning. Follow these tips and more for a successful Office 365 tenant-to-tenant -tenant migration project.